It's been a while since we've done an Echo and Alexa update video. We're gonna talk about the Amazon event next week, a couple of stories, and I'll share some tips at the end. Amazon's holding an event next week on Wednesday, September 28th. This is the event where we hear about new devices and services. Typically what's announced becomes available in October. Last year, Amazon introduced Astro the Robot. I haven't seen him around. I haven't got my hands on one. I think he's in hiding with that little attack drone ring introduced the year before. So this is the year we're gonna see him. They also introduced the Echo Show 15, the Ring Alarm Pro, and a few other devices in there. During this event, I would expect new Echoes and a lot of talk about Matter and Thread. Uh, Matter devices are supposed to be releasing sometime this fall. I wouldn't be surprised if after this event, some devices started to roll out. Like, Maybe Amazon's partnered with people, but who knows? Um, Echo fifth generation would make sense since it has been a couple of years. Not a lot of rumors for the Echo show. The five and eight are a couple of years old. The 15 just came out last year. Maybe the 10 will see something. I wouldn't be surprised if this year we just see some internal changes, maybe slight cosmetic changes, color material changes, but I don't see a huge redesign happening. I think it's more about processing and that thread and matter support. Now, the biggest thing I would like to see out of this Echo event is faster processors and more local control. Stuff going to the cloud is too slow, so I'd love to see more stuff happen on device. And if we are getting Echo show upgrades, I would love to see a fast, responsive, customizable touchscreen. I don't know, maybe we'll finally see Astro the Robot or since Amazon bought Roomba, maybe they've partnered up and we'll see some other kind of robot. I don't know, what would you like to see come out of that event? Let us know in the comments. Speaking of robots, big news last month is Amazon's buying iRobot, the makers of Roomba, for $1.7 billion. Billion. It makes sense for the data. You need your robots to be able to roam around your house and not trip over things. What good is an attack robot that falls over because it tripped on a dog's toy? No good. So Roomba's had 20 plus years in experience of roaming around people's houses with their robots. That's a whole nother layer of data that Amazon's gathering. They know what you purchase online. They know your requests through your Echoes, the stuff you watch on Prime Video or through the Fire TV. You can protect your house with their ring devices and now Amazon will know the internal layout of your house. Does Amazon purchasing iRobot change your thoughts about getting or keeping a Roomba? Let us know in the comment section. I definitely see how it can be a good step towards that personal robot that uh, I think Amazon will eventually make for us. Next, Amazon announced a new feature for brands to use. It's called Customers Ask Alexa. And what this is, is that Amazon will take frequently asked questions from customers and will direct them to brands that sell on Amazon to answer. Now, a brand that's in this program can answer the question and add their links, submit that to Amazon, then Amazon will review the answers, make sure it meets all their criteria, and when a customer makes a request, if that answer fits, it'll be served to them along with the link to the uh, product that is being served up to them. Amazon will let you know that this answer is coming from a brand. That way you don't think it's an organic answer from somewhere else. This sounds interesting. Uh, it sounds like it could help in theory, help the customer with the logic that the brand that makes the product should be an expert on the topic. So they should be the best ones to help you. Um, in theory, that's Amazon's idea. But the other side of that is, are you getting the best product and the best answer, or are you just getting the one from the company that answers the most questions? So we're gonna see, have to see how this plays out. Is it gonna be everything sponsored? The Alexa we know is an AI model that has been trained and has learned from years of input and questions and uh, user experiences. Now, the responses we get are gonna be potentially superseded by a response from someone who's gonna sell us something. Now, Amazon says this is not a paid thing. Basically, if there's something on how to get ink out of a shirt, 
any company that makes a product that could get ink out of a shirt could answer that question and the best one should help. That is good to know it's not a pay for placement deal. Now this program is invite only. There's a select group that gets to start using it October of this year. But in 2023, all eligible US companies will be able to take advantage of this. Now let's talk about tips. This first one is from David, who's a regular on our YouTube live stream, Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. PT. Come on by sometime. This is one that is long overdue that I didn't realize had come to the echoes, but you can now delay certain commands. Uh, where this comes in handy, where I've used it and tried it, is being able to ask for something to turn on or off after a certain amount of time. For example, Alexa, turn office beam off in 10 seconds. Okay. I'll turn off the office beam in 10 seconds. And what you'll see is there's actually a little timer counting down right now. And you can add multiple things onto there. So, and you'll see it went off after 10 seconds and it actually will add different timers to it. Another way you can use this is I have some music playing right now. I could say, Alexa, turn off my music in 20 minutes. Okay, I'll stop playing in 20 minutes. And now it's going to keep playing that music for 20 minutes. You can also ask for music for a certain amount of time. Alexa, play rock music for five minutes. So now it started playing. It's going to play this for five minutes, but still, I don't know how that's going to work. Still has the time counting down from the previous command to it. Now, if you do touch the timers, it will actually pop up on the side telling you what each of those timers are for. And now you just keep adding things to it. I don't know how many of those you could add, but it is nice to be able to uh, delay certain things. And if you want to cancel any of those actions, you can say cancel the, the name of the timer it made for that action, or just say cancel all timers. The next tip are for using Alexa with Thursday Night Football. If you didn't know, you can watch Thursday Night Football on Prime Video here in the U.S. Don't know what the deal is outside the U.S., uh, but now there are some additional features you can use. The first way is being able to ask Alexa to see X-Ray. This is going to bring up the in-game stats for you. Second, you can now ask questions about the game during the game without it pausing. Uh, you don't want to pause a live event just to hear some question about how many tackles someone has. But to get a response while the game still keeps playing is pretty cool. Number three is you can use Alexa just to turn on Thursday Night Football. You just say, Alexa, play Thursday Night Football, and it will launch right into it. Number four, you can watch the game over and over as much as you want if you add it to your Amazon Prime Video watch list. You would say, Alexa, add Thursday Night Football to my watch list. Once you add it to the watch list, any new games during the season are automatically recorded and saved for you to watch anytime uh, through 2023. So you could go analyze that game footage and really dive into it at any time during the season so you could get your Final Fantasy football dialed in. That's right, I accidentally said Final Fantasy football. Clearly I don't play Final Fantasy football much. And the fifth thing is you can ask Alexa to follow your team. And what will happen is you'll get notification of scores, injuries, or any news stories about your team. Next, one of my biggest complaints about the Echo Show is the amount of screens that roll through with different information. What's next in your day? How can I help you? What's your favorite? Just all different things. Go see Thor, Love and Thunder. Ooh, Avatar's coming out. Saw that ad the other day. Now, if you're tired of seeing all these different screens and you'd rather just see photos instead, you could take advantage of photo frame. And what you do is you can request to have photo frame turned on and get walked through the process. To turn on photo frame, you can say, Alexa, turn on photo frame. Sure. I've started photo frame for you. Now, select a collection to display. If you just go with the Amazon collections, let's pick nature. And you'll see, you'll choose a com a collection display in photo frame and on your home screen. So we'll start photo frame. Here are the photos that you'll see. It'll scroll through them. Now if we're at home, we're seeing the backgrounds being used, but we're seeing our normal echo. If I say, Alexa, turn on photo frame. Sure, I've started photo frame for you. That's gonna get rid of everything but the photos. But if we make a request like, Alexa, what's the weather today? 
See, it's gonna do an overlay and then it'll go back to the photo frame. Nice thing about using this is when you make requests for things like the weather or setting timers or any of that, it just does an overlay on top of the existing photo. At this point, I'm not using the displays all that much unless I'm actually interacting with the Echo. So this is a better option for me to just leave the photo frames on with pictures that I like. If you'd like to turn off photo frame, you can ask Alexa to turn it off or you can just say, go home. Since the Amazon event's right around the corner, what would you like to see improved on with the Echoes or Alexa, whether it's hardware or software? Uh, let us know in the comment section. Maybe somebody from there will read it and listen to us. Now, if you made it this far, please click the subscribe button, click the bell, get notified of the next video, and check out this video over here for some more great smart home information. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.